بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر سعید علی مردان ندوی ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل ان ٹو ڈیز لیکچر وی ول ڈسکس ایکسرسائز 15.2 کوشچن نمبر 21 فرام تھامس کیلکولس 12th ایڈیشن بک دا اسٹیٹمنٹ اف پرابلم از کیچ دا ریڈنگ اف انٹیگریشن اینڈ ایوالویٹ دا انٹیگرل اینڈ دا انٹیگرل از ڈبل انٹیگرل فار وچ x is our inner variable and the limits of x are 0 to natural log of y y is our outer variable and limits of y are 1 to natural log of 8 and we have to integrate e raised to power x plus y for this limit here e is the exponential function which is the inverse of natural log function in multivariable calculus or in double integral we will always solve the inner integral first and then on the results of inner integral we will apply the outer integral for this purpose i have used the brackets and isolated the inner integral from the outer integral and changed its color to red so that you will be focused on this particular portion in the next part of the video now in order to integrate e raised to power x plus y for limit 0 to natural log of y with respect to x we will separate e raised to power x plus y as e raised to power x multiplied by e raised to power y. Now, with respect to x, e raised to power y is dealt as a constant function. So, e raised, we can take e raised to power y outside of the inner integral as e raised to power y into limit from 0 to natural log of y e raised to power x dx. Now, the integration of exponential function is its exponential function itself. So, we have e raised to power x limit from 0 to natural log of y as an integration of e raised to power x. In the next step, we will apply fundamental theorem of calculus to evaluate these limits. So for this purpose, we will replace x with natural log of y minus the formula and x with 0. Please note that exponential function and natural log function are the reciprocals of each other. They will cancel out and we are left with y. And e raised to power 0 is 1. So we have e raised to power y minus e raised to power y into y minus 1. This is the results of inner integral. Now on this function, we will apply the outer integral means integration with respect to y. Opening up the brackets and making some simplification, we have y into e raised to power y minus e raised to power y. Now we will apply integral on each term separately. For the first term, we have a product of two functions, which depending on y, y into e raised to power y, and we will need integration by parts in order to evaluate the first integral. And the integration of second function is straightforward. Integration of e raised to power y will be e raised to power y as it is. Now here is the formula for the integration by parts. If u and v are the functions of y, then and then we can evaluate them as u into integral of v dy minus double integral v dy du over dy into dy. Here, du over dy is a derivative of u with respect to y. In the next step, I have applied the formula for the integration by part on the term y e raised to power y and isolated the limits as 1 to natural log of 8 so that I can apply the limits after complete process of integration by parts. And for the second integral, I have integrated as e raised to power y for the limits 1 to natural log of 8. Now, in this formula of integration by parts, I have placed u with y and v with e raised to power y so that we can eliminate y in the process of derivation. So, in the next step, the integration of e raised to power y is e raised to power y. Integration of e raised to power y is e raised to power y. And the derivative of y with respect to y is 1. So we have y e raised to power y minus integral of e raised to power y dy limits from 1 to natural log of 8. And, the, and this the second step, we have applied limits as upper limit minus lower limit. For this purpose, I have replaced y with natural log of 8 minus y with 1 as e raised to power 1. So in the next step of integration, the integration of e raised to power y with respect to y is e raised to power y itself. So I have y e raised to power y minus e raised to power y for the limits 1 to natural log of 8. And from the second bracket, 
exponential function and natural log function are the reciprocal of each other. They will cancel out and we have 8 minus e raised, e raised to the power 1. And e raised to the power 1 can be written as e only. In the next step, in order to evaluate the first portion, y e raised to the power y minus e raised to the power y for the limits 1 to natural log of 8, we will apply fundamental theorem of calculus. So in order to apply fundamental theorem of calculus, I have replaced y in this whole bracket with natural log of 8 minus is of formula and 1 for the lower limit. In the next step, again, exponential function and natural log of 8 are the reciprocal of each other. They will cancel out each other. From the first term, we have 8 natural log of 8. Similarly, from the second term, we will get 8. E minus E will be 0. And from the outside of the bracket, if you open up the bracket, it will change its sign minus 8 plus E. So we have, after opening up the bracket, we have 8 natural log of 8 minus 8 minus 8 plus E. Now minus 8 minus 8 will be minus 16. So our answer is 8 natural log of 8 minus 16 plus E. So here we have concluded the first part of our lecture. In the second portion, we will sketch the region of integration for this integral. In order to sketch the region of integration, we need boundaries. And these boundaries are obtained from the limits of inner and outer variable. Please note that the value of x for lower limit is 0 and value of x for the upper limit is natural log of y. The value of y for the lower limit is 1 and the value of y for the upper limit is natural log of 8. So from here, we will get our boundaries. y equal to 1 and y equal to natural log of 8 will provide us boundary for our region of integration. Two boundaries for our region of integration, x equal to 0 and x is equal to natural log of y will provide the other two boundaries for our region. Now, y equal to natural log of 8 is an equation of horizontal line. y equal to 1 is an equation of horizontal line. x equal to 0 is equation for y-axis. And x is equal to natural log of y is a graph of natural log function. And this x is equal to natural log graph, uh, x is equal to natural log of y can be viewed as in zoom form. We have, this is a graph of natural log function in the zoom form. In the next step, we will plot the line y is equal to natural log of 8, which is approximately 2.07. And then y is equal to 1, which passes to the point 1 as black lines. This is y equal to 1, x equal to 0. This curve is x is equal to natural log of y and the upper line is y is equal to natural log of 8 approximately. So from these boundaries, we can obtain our region of integration. For our region of integration, we will focus on the portion where we have a bounded region. Bounded region means where all the four boundaries are involved and we have a closed region. So this green portion is our region of integration and this includes our second part of the question where we have the sketch where we have sketched the region of integration and highlighted it thank you for watching this video